Hey, what's up guys? This is Juan Corrido from Engineering Room Mac Services, and let's repair a MacBook right now, okay? I have a A1398 2015, A200138 board number. The problem with this one is every time I connect the charger, it's what happened. Oops, sorry. Nothing happened. On the charger no light no green light no red light but my fans they move a little bit let me see they move again so there's off i'm gonna connect it again let me lock this here Done. okay fans on no light and then they go off that's it that's the only thing i have on this computer Okay, so yeah, that's the issue we're having. And I'm gonna disconnect battery. Let's see if we have any difference. Same. Actually, with the battery, my oh, they're moving. That's it. Okay. Let's check this. Let's take it out. Give me a magnet over here. Oh, I have one here. So, A1398 2015. Computer is no powering on. When I connect the charger, I don't have green light, but my fan spin for a couple seconds, and then it dies. It doesn't work at all. It's not turn it on with battery or without battery. Same result. Customer says the one day was using it. Next day it was exactly like this. Nobody opened it before. Nobody touched it before. Just failing. Let's see what we found. Let's see what we can do. Board number is 820-00138. Oops. Hmm, that glue is very hard. What do you guys think about the iOS 14? I already downloaded it to my phone. Couple cool things, but same operating system always. I really like the tap thing in the back. It, just, it doesn't have too many options. I thought as well, okay, if I touch it twice, can it open my email or my WhatsApp? I think it can't. I have to check a little bit more, but it wasn't working like I would like to work. But this Apple is going to do all things like Android had before, years ago, but still they're going to make us feel that, that it's, it was their idea. Apple have almost all that options like from four or five years ago. I think the first Samsung Galaxy one already had the option to change everything on the icons. But we love Apple. I really like Apple. iPhones, computers, iPads. But I just don't like myself. The operating system is way more stable than Android. I have an Android phone. Actually, the, the phone that is not recording, by the way, for some reason. What the heck? <sighs> now it's recording. So, the phone who records my table is an Android phone. 
It's a Samsung, no, it's a OnePlus 7 Pro. Camera is amazing. But the operating system have a lot of bugs. I don't like too much. So because this camera wasn't recording, I'm gonna retest the computer. Let me put this over here. I need a fan. Let's check. So again, the problem is when I connect the charger, I don't have green light and the fans move for a couple seconds and then die. Oh, now it's stay on. That's weird. CPU is not warming up. So now I have a no brain. Now it's dead. <laughs> Very weird issue. I put one screw. Okay, here we go. So we already know that the computer is no power now. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to visual inspection of the complete logic board to see if we find any issue, any real issue that, that we can see and find and fix it very quick. Let me fix this, okay. Okay. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, not that close. Uh, let me see almost. Okay, that's good enough. So let's just start over here. Oh my god, look at my Mac safe, man. That's nasty. Could be my, it could be my match. Let's check. Could be my match. Why not? This don't belong here. Oh, my charge is disconnected. One sec. Charge got disconnected. Let's check. Oh, there you go. Come on, turn on. Oh, that's nice. No, off again. Maybe my charger. Let me see. No, oh man, I was so happy. Let me try a second charger. Okay, well, I'm gonna try with a different charger because I think one of my two chargers, I brought them new from Apple. I think one of those has to go to warranty. I think one of those is failing. I have no idea why. But I don't care. I have warranty. Okay, let's check. Green light again. Red light. Looks like everything is working. It's on. Let's go one more time. Looks like that's it. Now let's test it on the computer. In the computer, I mean. That's why it's so important, guys. Visually check everything. 
always always check everything I thought I thought it will be the um, on the floor what is my screwdriver oh right here I thought it will be the, um, the SMC that's what I thought the, okay I think this is an SMC issue. I wasn't sure. I said, okay, let's check everything. And it's starting with the MagSafe. That's amazing. Okay, it's powering on. Let's use one of my tester. Let me clean that screen a little bit. Okay, it's telling me it's reading the battery. I mean, I use coconut battery to test battery. So let me explain you why I use coconut battery. You can, we can see it. We can see over here. Compared, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna look a little bit uh, slow because the battery percentage right now is zero percent. So it it won't CPU won't be using all their power. On the computer goes around three or four percent. So the good thing about coconut battery is I get capacity is seven thousand six hundred forty one milliamps. Okay, it from one hundred percent for eight original it comes to eight thousand eight thousand seven hundred fifty five milliamps. Um, and right now is uh seven thousand six hundred forty one because it's at eighty seven point three percent. Now, what it means? It means if the computer use 7,641 milliamps in an hour, it will discharge. But if your computer is using less than that, based on that, 7,641 7, divided by how many watts are you using, it will give you close to the time the computer, you can use it, okay? Now, charging weight. This is how many watts the computer is taking from the charger. Right now it's at 7.55, but it should go about 40, 50, 30, 60, depends on model, charger, and computer. I have a 85, I think, 87 watts charger. Okay, the charging should go to like to 40 watts in any second. I hope so, 30 watts, 40 watts at any second. At 7.7, .7, it won't be too much. It will be too slow to charge. So I really hope that it goes high, my bad. Okay, so let's wait. It said the condition of the battery is good and this uh, have 876 cycle. I really like kind of battery. And if you work with iOS device, you connect it to the USB and then you can read everything about the iOS here. And you click here, uh, iOS device. Let's see, it may, I'm not sure about this part, but I believe you have to go to 1% and then it will go up, okay, faster. So let's wait a couple minutes to see how everything goes. Of course, I'm gonna uh, make this part way faster. And, oh, you see, charger is charging now with 41.14 watts. That's what I told you, it goes to 40. And my charger is at 85 watts. 
This is a very good application. It's Calcone battery. The best is free. That's it. You can download and use it. I use it a lot. That's the that's the way I I know if my my charging process is good. Sometimes when my charger is defective, it will won't give me enough watt. Uh, sometimes I have some on the on the charging circuit, some capacitors, no one hundred percent blow, just a little bit blow. Let me see, it's still recording. Let me check. I hear a beep. So now it's charging with 50.12. I'm just gonna wait to the battery to go at least to 1%. If it goes to 1%, that's it. Computer's done. And it's going to be this guy. The max safe. Okay. I have 0.8% here and 1% here. So if I disconnect it, it will stay on at least for a second. It will turn off in any second. It means that SNC so far is working. And my only problem was my MagSafe. Okay, that's why it's so important, guys. Test. You have to visually check your board, and you need to understand that these guys they fell too. That's this guy. It was a very short uh, video. My name is Juan, and this is Engineering Room Services. See you next time.